published 1207 EDT, the 4th of October 2017 updated 0430 EDT, the 5th of October 2017 Google has unveiled a raft of new hardware in a bid to take on everyone from Amazon to Apple and Microsoft. It has built its AI Google Assistant into everything from new $159 £159 wireless headphones and a new camera to speakers and its new Pixel 2 handsets and $999 £999 Pixel Book convertible laptops in a bid to fend of Apple and Amazon in the AI Assistant Wars. All of the products have Google's Smart Assistant built in and on the firm's new phones, it can be activated simply by squeezing the handset. Scroll down for video Google's new Pixel 2 handsets can be squeezed to trigger Google's Smart Assistant $49.49 pounds .49. Google Home Mini Speaker $399 Max Music Smart Speaker US only $999 $999 pounds Pixel Book Touchscreen Laptop $649 $629 pounds Pixel 2 and $849 $799 pounds Pixel 2 Excel Phones new $99 $99.99 pounds Daydream VR headset design new wireless $159 $159 pounds Pixels buds that can translate language in real time Google Clips AI controlled camera among the new releases of the $159 $159 pounds smart buds wireless headphones Pixel 2 smartphone a $999 $999 pounds Pixel book convertible laptop in the $49 $49 pounds home mini speaker and three hundred and ninety nine dollars home mux music speaker us only sundar pichai began the presentation by saying it has been hard to see the suffering of the past few weeks and in particular the las vegas shootings saying our hearts and prayers and with the victims he said the firm was working with disaster relief agencies to help where it could pichai said the firm was continuing on its mission to be become ai first were bringing on 2,000 very talented engineers from HTC, Google's hardware boss Rick Ostello said, before admitting that most smartphones were extremely similar. We're taking a very different approach, smartphones are reaching parity on the specs, but AI and machine learning have helped us reimagine our hardware. Today we'll show you a family of products that are there when you need them. Sabrina Ellis, Senior Director of Product Management at Google, speaks into a Pixel 2 phone at the event. Users can trigger the firm's smart assistant by speech, or by squeezing it. The firm's new $159 £159 Pixel Buds wireless headphones can even work with Google's AI to translate 40 languages in real time. We're thrilled to announce there are now 55 million Chromecasts. Google Wi-Fi is the number one mesh router, and we've added more than 100 million new Google Assistant answers. Mario K. Ross revealed the Google Pixel 2 handset. We created it in two sizes, a 5 and 6 inch version, he said, the small, square device, called Google Clips, can be attached to something stationary so it can capture images of everything within its range of view, it will rely on artificially intelligence to know the best times to snap a photo or record video. Google's new wireless AI Clips camera is designed for pet owners and parents to automatically capture key moments in the loved one's lives. Google is promising that privacy controls built into Clips will give the camera's users complete control over which images they want to transfer to another device or share with someone else. Clips will sell for almost $250 and will be available in stores in December US only. The smaller version will cost $649 £629, and the larger $849 £799, and pre-orders open today, it has built-in stereo speakers, and no headphone socket, the firm has overhauled its Android software, and the phones have a new always-on display, he took aim at Apple saying we don't keep features for the bigger device, it will also come with. Google's new AI lens that allows the phone's camera to analyze images to look for text and other information. It has two LEDs in the camera flash and will feature front and rear cameras with optical image stabilization. New camera will have portrait mode similar to Apple's but Google says it has better AI algorithms for creating the effect. Portrait mode will also work on the front selfie camera will come with a free Google Home Mini speaker has squeezable sides like the HTC U11 that activate Google's assistant. Google revealed a new home screen Google has developed for Android phones. Google has ditched the headphone jack for the device. In instead relying on wireless or USB-C headphones.
will have Google's Lens AI software will run Google's new augmented reality software R called the next generation flagship handset will be officially unveiled in just a few hours. Google is hosting launch events at 9 a.m. in San Francisco, 12 p.m. in New York, 5 p.m. in London and 6 p.m. in Paris all local times to smaller Pixel 2 will be available in kinder blue, just black, and clearly white, and will be sold with 64 gigabytes and 128 gigabytes of storage and in the US will be priced at $649, £629, and $749, £729, respectively. The larger LG made Pixel 2 XL will come in a black, white, and just black and will be available with 64GB or 128GB storage. The new phones have an always-on display that will display the time, notifications and even what song is playing. Rishi Chandra of Google's home team revealed the firm's smart speaker is now able to work out family members from the voice using a voice match feature. The speakers will also be able to use the mobile number for caller ID if they make voice calls using the speaker and bringing the calling feature to the UK. The firm also unveiled a new broadcast feature, allowing parents to broadcast a message on all Google devices to tell kids it's time for school, for example, Google's new $399 Max speaker will go on sale in December US only and play music from Google, Spotify and other services. The speakers can be paired together to work as stereo speaker. Chandra unveiled the firm's new Max speaker designed to take on Sonos and other hi-fi firms. Costing $399, it will go on sale in December US only. Sundar Pichai began the presentation by saying it has been hard to see the suffering of the past few weeks, and in particular the Las Vegas shootings, saying our hearts and prayers and with the victims. It has smart sound to adapt to rooms and even the time of day. It will play YouTube music, Spotify and others. Two speakers can be used together as a stereo pair, and it also has a Google Assistant built in the firm says can hear voices over loud music. Google's new $999 £999 Pixel Book convertible tablet will come with a $99 £99 pen. The laptop can be flipped to allow it to turn into what Google called the tent stand. It also introduced a new Let's Learn feature to allow children to play games, and is working with Disney, Warner Brothers and others. Isabel Olsen of Google unveiled the firm's new home mini speaker. It's small enough to be placed anywhere in the home, she said. The home is a special intimate place, she said. The LG made Pixel 2 XL will come in a black, white and just black colors and be available with 64GB or 128GB storage. According to the latest leaks the smaller Pixel 2 will be available in kinder blue, just black, and clearly white, and will be sold with 64GB and 128GB of storage. In the US, the pair will be priced at $649, £629 and $749, £729 respectively. Form and size really matter, and you should never have to think about how you interact with it. The speaker is made out of fabric which Google says it developed itself. It has four hidden LED lights used to communicate, and users can also tap it to pause music. It has a 360-degree speaker, and will come in three colors, coral, gray, and charcoal. The firm also unveiled a new Pixel Book which it say is the thinnest, lightest laptop we've ever made. It is 10 mm 0.4 inch thin and weighs 1 kg 2.2 pounds, with a 31 cm 12.3 inch touchscreen. Rishi Chandra of Google's home team with the firm's new $49 Google Home Mini speaker. Its keyboard can be folded underneath to convert into a tablet, and has a Pixel Book pen. It also has Google's Smart Assistant built in, with a special key that triggers the AI, and works with the pen, allowing users to simply circle something on screen to find out more about it. The main attractions are widely expected to be the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL Android handsets. Pre-orders begin today, and will be available on October 19th, manufactured by HTC and LG, respectively. The handsets are codenamed Walleye and Timon, according to renowned leaker Evan Blass. Isabel Olsen of Google unveiled the firm's new home mini speaker. It's small enough to be placed anywhere in the home, she said. The home is a special intimate place, she said. Form and size really matter, and you should never have to think about how you interact with it.
The new speakers has four hidden LED lights used to communicate, and users can also tap it to pause music to speaker is made out of fabric which Google says it developed itself. It has four hidden LED lights used to communicate, and users can also tap it to pause music. It has a 360-degree speaker and will come in three colors, coral, gray, and charcoal. This is $80.60 pounds less than the original home speaker, and the same price as Amazon's Echo Dot. The device will go up against Amazon's $49 Echo Dot. However, the firm is likely to play down these connections, having confirmed in September it will buy HTC's Pixel smartphone division in a $1.1 billion, $0.8 billion pounds deal to boost its hardware capabilities. On Monday, Mr. Blass claimed a person familiar with Google's release plans reported they will be released on October 19 for Pixel 2 and November 15 for Pixel 2 XL, with both available for pre-order. He also posted images to his Twitter account the same day ahead of the official unveiling. They revealed a new home screen Google has developed for Android phones. Rumors have been swelling that the event will also see the return of Google's top-end Chromebook Pixel line, dubbed the Pixelbook. Leaked images show a flip-around screen along the lines of Microsoft's Surface tablet. Like most launch events, Google's has been heralded by leaks, speculation and anticipation. Among the expected new releases are the Pixel 2 smartphone, the latest Pixel Chromebook, an updated Daydream VR headset and smart mini speaker system. Rumors have been swelling for months about Google's next Pixel smartphones and the tech firm uploaded a short 35-second teaser to YouTube earlier this month, offering eager fans the chance to sign up to receive more information. The minimalist video, while scant on images, makes some bold promises about some of the features fans can expect. The cryptic clip shows a user searching for various failings of their own smartphone. These range from what's wrong with my phone's battery and why is my phone always out of storage to why does my phone take so many blurry photos and even why doesn't my phone understand me. Other search queries state their phone is slow, hot, fragile, annoying, broken, cruel, impersonal and dumb. Virtual reality was built into the last generation of Pixel devices and the Android OS they came with pre-installed. Google is believed to be updating its Daydream VR headset with some improvements and a slightly bigger price tag. Daydream is designed as an open platform, so that companies can build their own headsets to run content.